Today I'll teach you how to read and pass JSON data from URL in hp.net. So let's start. As you can see on your screen, this is a JSON file and this particular JSON file I have hosted on GitHub and it will be accessed through an API. That particular API will be called using web client class. We'll start by adding a grid view control. Now our grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. So here I'll be adding some namespaces. I'm adding the namespace system.net. It is required for the web client class. The next one is system.data. Then mutantsoft.json. Now inside the page load event handler, I am writing the if not is post back condition. Here I am setting a property expect 100 continue to true. This particular property belongs to the service point manager class. When this particular property is set to true, data will only be sent when the initial headers such as authorization headers etc are okay. So this actually saves bandwidth because what happens sometimes there is rejection from the server and in that case again we have to send the complete header as well as the data back to the server. The second property is security protocol and it also belongs to the service point manager class. This particular property specifies the security protocol we are using. So as per your server requirement, you can set the security protocol. Now further you will notice I have created an object of web client class and I am making use of the download string method of the web client class to call the API on GitHub. I have passed the URL of the API to the download string method and the result which is actually a JSON string is being captured in a string variable. Once the JSON string is populated, now we will convert the JSON string to a data table using the deserialize object method of the json convert class and finally we will assign the data table to the grid view data source so that the grid view can be populated with the json data now i'll call the data bind method so with this we complete our programming part. Let's execute the code and see it in action. So as you can see, the grid view is populated using JSON string. With this, we come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.